And this is a pretty good place to train. I you still can't believe this is a classroom. Yeah. <laughs> you have Oshan inside your campus. Yeah. If you are a student at EDEC, this is how you would feel. What's up everybody, Timbex here and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm here at Lille, specifically at EDEC in Lille. And I'm joined by Siddharth. Hi Siddharth. Hello. And we're gonna go and film the campus. So it's going to be a campus tour video today. And I'm quite looking forward to the campus. I reached yesterday night and I got a glimpse of the campus and it's really big. It's pretty big and it looked very beautiful from the outside. So I can't wait to check what's inside. Let's go. That's the entrance and as soon as we enter, this is the main lobby. Shall we go explore that side? Yeah, sure. For the right side, we have our Oshan go. Do you have Oshan inside your campus? Yeah. I'm guessing it must be just for the students, right? Yeah, yeah it's just for the students. Okay. And, uh, actually, a BBA student keeps up the entire store inventory. Okay. And we would just go and scan it. Damn, dude. This is crazy. So, so you do all your grocery shopping here, or? No, I generally do it outside because it's much cheaper over there. Uh -huh. But if I want to have something very quick to eat and grab, you can definitely have it. Here. We also have a ATM or a retrit machine in French, okay. of Societe Generale. Mm -hmm. And on just your back, we have a small cafeteria. I also see there's like a Amazon locker yes. over there. This is pretty convenient, actually. Yeah. I mean, if you are having classes, you are traveling and you exactly. order something on Amazon, you can just bring it here. We also have a La Post okay. inside of our campus. Uh, actually, like send letters and everything yeah, yeah, from yeah. the campus. You can send letters, couriers, but it's only inside France. Okay. Moving on the first floor, we have our student lounge. Okay. It's where you can come and chill. We have some table football. Oh. And we also have a piano over there. We have PT over here. Oh wow. Yeah, this is where we can come and chill. We have a TV over there. So yeah. if there are some matches during World Cup, we used to watch matches over there. Mm -hmm. Everyone. You everyone. have some posters and all as well. Yeah, so these posters are the events organized by the associations. Okay. And we'll go this side. It's a very interesting place. It's a nap room. Wait a minute, what a nap room? Yeah. So NAP, nap room. Yep. And Are you uh, kidding me? You have a nap room in your campus. <laughs> Dude. We have all these. This is so cool. This is so, thing. so cool. You could come during your break hours and just sleep, take a nap or Man, sleep. This is even. crazy. The first thing, as soon as I entered into the campus, the Oshan was something that I found very surprising. And the second thing has to be this nap room. This thing, this nap room concept is pretty good. Uh, because, come on, let's accept if you're a student, you know that there are times when you actually want to sleep and uh, I have had some classmates who actually go to the library to go and take a quick nap because it's quiet there and the, no one disturbs. So when it's a known fact that people actually like to take naps, why not provide them with a nap room? Man, this is so good. I, I really love this and big thumbs up to EDEC for that. So that, so I'm actually taking like a couple of B-rolls as well. So can you help me out with the nap room uh, B-roll? Yeah, Do you want to sure. like act as if you just woke up? <laughs> oh yeah, professional actor. <laughs> Must, thanks. <laughs> From the nap room, the next we have some microwaves here, right? Yeah. So okay. We have a cafeteria over here. Okay. So you could buy some cold food and hot food as well. So hot food you need to heat it yourself in the microwave. And students also get their own meals from okay. home. Okay. Okay. You just see the coffee actually. Yeah. So they do sell 
Pao Chocola of Croso. Mm -hmm. And they make it in house. Okay. It's not that they get it from somewhere. Mm -hmm. and they also serve baguette sandwiches and okay. uh, pastas. How much do you spend for like a meal here? So, if you want to get a drink and a me uh, main course as uh -huh. such, so if you get a baguette sandwich, it would cost you somewhere around 2.8 euros, and drinks varies a lot. So, okay. if you get a can of Coke, it would cost you a euro. Okay. So somewhere around four to five euros. But if you want to have something which you can heat up, okay. Uh, then it would probably cost you more. Okay. Maybe a pasta or a ravioli, something like that, would uh -huh. cost you around four point five nine or four point six euros. Okay. Just one box. Okay. But it's enough for a meal. It's pretty good considering the fact that there are not many places to eat outside the campus. Yes, I'm assuming. we don't have a lot of many places. Which we will talk about very shortly. Uh, which is the location of this campus and where it is situated. I'm assuming that this campus is not actually in Lille, even though we say EDEC Lille. I'm yeah. assuming it's not in Lille. Can you so throw some light on that? We hmm? do come under the region of Lille, okay. but it, it is exactly not in Lille as such. Okay. It's a 20-25 minutes tram ride or a 15 minutes metro ride. From Lille City? From Lille City. Our campus sits on the edge of the Rube and Krua border college is actually registered in Rube. That's one entrance and the other entrance is uh, in Krua mm -hmm. uh, where all the student residence and the sports complex is. There are student residences which are present inside the campus which you will be seeing in another vlog. I'm also making a vlog on that. I think if you're living inside the campus you as Siddharth said you don't have like much options right outside but still I mean Considering the fact the location where this campus is, I think the school is providing a lot of useful uh, stuff for the students. Over there we have the garden. Okay. And Le 1906 is okay. a restaurant. Okay. 1906 because EDEC was formally started in 1906. Okay. That's why the restaurant name. Okay. So that's where you need to take a reservation if you want to eat. Okay. It's a bit expensive, but the garden is where we get so the daily meals. This is the entrance where we came from and we just finished exploring that part of the campus. And now we are kind of in the middle of the campus. We have an edX store. Yeah. Nice. And what are these things like? So these are the plagues for who have donated to EDEC. I have donated like some yeah, money. So okay. These are like all the way from the right. You can go. Yeah, I mean I can see the level is increasing. This is our library over here. Okay. I see a lot of lockers here. What are these? Yeah, like so for students? these lockers are definitely for students. So you Just use your card to... Yeah, sure. okay. You can't keep anything after 11 p.m. because okay. all the lockers would just automatically open. And yeah. these areas are like study areas as well, common yeah. study areas. These are common study area. That's a computer room. Okay. So I was just going to ask you that, Siddharth, you showed me all the fun things about the campus, but what yeah. about the classroom? And finally we are so in the classroom. This is one of the many classrooms we have. Mm -hmm. uh, on this floor we have eight classrooms and on top of this we have four more. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is where all the studies happen. We had a lot of fun on the student lounge and nap room and cafeteria. That monitor over there, the TV or monitor, whatever it is, is specifically for group projects or group presentations. Uh -huh. So ideally what we have been taught is that you don't look back and on the screen and give you a presentation, you look forward. Ah, Yeah, okay. so you get to read all the material from there, don't look back, so okay. it gives a more open and good presentation. Smart. And, uh, Pretty good. And if you're a student at EDEC and you're giving presentations, you don't have to memorize anything because you have a big screen over there which will give you all the things that you need to talk about. Pretty nice, I really like that. It's pretty clever. But yeah, nice classroom and when you open the curtains, it's actually so sunny, you get so much sunlight. We'll go and check out that and we'll check out the manor. As you can see, there's Wait, a bit of... check out the manor? I'll show you. Uh, let's go then. Oh wow, you have a outdoor 
outdoor wow. workout right. spot look at this location man it's crazy so this is the manor so now these two houses have been converted into classes actually these are classrooms yeah i few... still can't believe this is a classroom yeah, and if you <laughs> so see it's actually the... a house which has been converted to a classroom yeah. Yeah. and if you see on the right there is classes going on actually oh my god so this is कितने साल पुराना होगा क्या पता ये ये या लुक्स वेरी ओल्ड सो फ्रॉम दैट मैनर वी आर नाउ हेडिंग बैक टू द कैंपस सो जस्ट टू गिव यू गाइस अ ओवरव्यू ऑफ दिस कैंपस दैट ओवर देयर इज द मेन एंट्रेंस लाइक वन ऑफ द एंट्रेंस स्टूडेंट्स कैन एंटर फ्रॉम देयर एंड देन व्हेन यू वॉक टू द फ्रंट यू सी द होल कैंपस राइट एंड to your right is the cafeteria and the uh, all the fun things that we saw in the beginning you have the cafeteria you have the game room and all that sleeping room and all that stuff then on the front this whole building is actually the administration area it's like a beautiful glass building curved all the way to, till the end and then once this administration area ends you have another building called the service area where you have the student services career services i guess yes and right behind that you have the student building where you have the classrooms so this whole area is the career center area yeah Oh wow, pretty good man. So you can reserve these rooms for your interviews, meetings yes. and all that stuff. So we could just mail our career center and they would reserve it for us. Four of these rooms yeah. and we have another one on the right side. Okay. So uh the room just behind you. Yeah, these ones. Those yeah. Those are the master's career center okay. and the ones on my back mm -hmm. are the bachelor's career center. we are now in the sports complex and what all do you have here sadat so the first thing we have is a dance studio dance ah. cum gymnasium stu uh, gymnastics nice. studio beautiful yes ah oh, there is a swimming pool really cool and uh, now we will enter the swimming pool wow this is our basketball cum volleyball court mm -hmm. damn so, it's huge yep So as you can see, it's a full-size basketball court. You can have futsal tournaments over here. Yeah, I see the baskets are like folded up there. Yep. You have like the, a scoreboard. Yes. So now we are going to the fitness room. So this is the gym. Yes, this is the gym. We have a toilet on the other side. Quite interesting. I noticed that there are no free weights available. You have like a lot of machines. Yes. But there's no free It, weight. But honestly, so that. I prefer the outdoor gym a lot yeah. considering the fact that your campus is so beautiful you have so much greenery and that outdoor gym is so well equipped like it's one of the best yeah. outdoor gyms that I've seen but yeah it's uh, it's really good to have this facility as well I mean if yes. it's raining and you want to like run yeah. or something then this is a pretty good place to train These are all the lockers. lockers for the shoes and uh, this is the martial arts room so the floor mats and pretty good you have a mirror you have the tatami mats yes. there's a board for explanation i guess how to see there's some punching bag anchors pull up bars pretty nice So I decided to shoot the outro in the most unique spot that I found in the campus and that has to be this manner so the outro would be here <laughs> that's all for this video guys thank you so much for making me a part of your day if you enjoyed watching this video then hit that like button and consider subscribing also a big thank you to Siddharth thanks yeah. a lot man thanks for this campus tour it was yeah. it's an My amazing pleasure. campus amazing campus um yeah that's all for this video and i'll catch up with you guys in the next one till then goodbye okay bye bye